It doesn't matter that he's a different species or that he has a worrying marmalade habit. Did you say marmalade? Well, I had my 74-year-old mother see it and my four and six-year-old children laughing when they watched the movie together. And that's when I went, wow, this is, um, this is a home run. <laughs> because both generations could enjoy it. And that's pretty special. Bad. My daughter Bad. always Bad. goes, I just love that hair. My six-year-old loves the blonde um, platinum wig that I wear. So she's like, I want that. Um, and, they, and they also, you know, they, they don't have that much interest in films, but this particular film was obviously the one they wanted to visit the set on and see how it all came together and watch the um, action sequences and stuff like that. Did, did, did your daughter get the wig? Did you give no. <laughs> no, they have that somewhere, archived somewhere. <laughs> did you say marmalade? Hmm. What happened to him? He sneaked out in the mail van. Yes. I tracked him as far as Paddington Station. Good. But then he disappeared. I'm sorry. It's just that that creature means a great deal to me. Why? Not really. Okay. Not right now. <laughs> They probably probably because they see me and Keith performing all the time. Their interests lie elsewhere. But um, but just to have them sit and watch this movie and go, well done. And you know, whenever they see a Paddington Bear bear now, they're like, ah, oh, Paddington Bear, Paddington Bear. And it's been such a massive success overseas, which is really fantastic, you know, because it's clever as well. The movie's clever. Yeah. No. They have one. <laughs> We're not excessive. It's actually quite good fun. Ah.